So the big day is finally here. Um, I'm running Grandma's Marathon on June 18th, a week from today. I'm heading home to Minnesota on Thursday and running the race on Saturday. Um, for those that aren't familiar with my story from last year, um, I was hoping to run the same race last year uh, in front of my home crowd there in Minnesota and unfortunately developed first runner's knee and then as I was trying to train through that, developed um, hamstring tendonitis that was so bad I could hardly walk for about four months. And then um, went through physical therapy and basically worked really hard to get back to where I was before the injury. So I've made it all the way back. I'm very proud of myself for that. Um, very, very happy that I'm going to be able to run this race. I didn't know if I was going to be able to run again after... Um, the severity of the injury. Um, so I'm really happy about that and I'm hoping I can um, finish it off here. Um, so I guess I give a brief overview of the race for anyone who's not familiar with grandmas and then kind of talk about my personal strategy and hopes and goals and things like that. Um, it's a point-to-point -point marathon. I believe I read it's the 11th biggest marathon in the United States. So it's rather a big event. Um, there's over 9,000 marathoners, over 9,000 half marathoners, and there's also a 5K. So I think it's close to like 20, 22,000 people, uh, runners up there, um, plus everyone that comes to watch it. Um, so it's kind of a zoo. I was up there last year, even though I was injured, I went up there anyway and watched it, which I'm hoping will pay off a little bit because I'm a little familiar, at least with the course and things like that. I walked part of it and also um, watched it, you know. So... Um, it's, it follows Lake Superior, the shoreline of Lake Superior, so it's a pretty nice race. They close down the road so you don't have to worry about traffic or anything like that. And, um, it's not overly hilly, it's a net downhill, um, but it's kind of gradual rolling hills. Um, and one semi-major hill called Lemon Drop Hill, um, in the final six, um, miles. So, um... Nothing too extraordinary about it. It's a pretty, pretty fast marathon. I think the winning time last year was 2.10, and that was in a um, uh, shower, rain shower kind of weather. Um, so it probably could have even been a faster time if, if not for that. Um, I think the course record is 2.09 something. It was just recently broken um, a couple years ago. So um, pretty fast course, and there are elites that come out for it. So I got to watch them start and finish last year, which was pretty neat. Um, so I think that's about it. There's a lot of support up there. The town of Duluth really comes out in force um, to welcome the runners. And uh, it's, it's overall just a really neat environment. In Minnesota, it's like the marathon. Um, it's pretty legendary. It's been around for 40 years. And um, it's well known. Pretty much everyone knows what Grandma's Marathon is in, in Minnesota. Um, so I'm, I'm very much looking forward to it. My, I'm hoping some of... My mom's going to be up there, my stepdad, uh, my dad's going to try to make it, and I'm hoping that my nephews and niece might be able to make it up there um, to watch. Um, being in Michigan, I don't get a lot of support on my runs. All my family's back in Minnesota, so um, that's especially why I'm coming back to be able to run uh, with my mom able to uh, come out to the race, so I'm very excited about that. Um, as far as my goals for the race. Um, it's going to probably be dramatic. Um, my 25k time that I ran in Grand Rapids basically translates, uh, extrapolates out to being right on the line for BQ time. Um, so I could either make it or miss it by just a hair, um, depending on a lot of X factors, the weather, um, you know, how I feel, um, if I trip or, you know, any stupid thing. Um, so it's going to be excruciatingly close. I plan to go for it, to pace myself, to make that. Um, in my age group, it's, it's three hours and ten minutes. So that's what I'm shooting for, getting a little bit under there. Uh, the bad news is even if I barely squeak in, I still probably won't be able to run Boston um, because of the way they accept people um, with the fastest. As soon as they fill up, they fill up, and they go by the fastest times. So... Um, I might have to try to squeeze in another marathon, but I'm trying not to think about that. I'm just focusing on this one for now. Um, so yeah, my plan is to pretty much go out there with even splits. It's an overall pretty flat course, 
one decent sized hill. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much my plan. Uh, just hold that um, about 7.15 pace, 7.10 pace, and, and hope I can do that. Um, I kind of am going back and forth on whether I think I'm capable of that or not. Uh, my 25K, I average like seven minute pace, but to my, you know, on the plus side, I actually had hoped to go out at 645 pace. So I ran a lot of that race a lot faster than that and then slowed down at the end. So if I had been, if I knew what I was capable of, I could have run a little slower at the beginning and probably had a faster time overall, pay, you know, run 655 pace or something like that. So I think there's a little wiggle room there that I might be able to run the marathon a little better, um, pace myself a little better, uh, a little more conservatively, and hopefully um, have the energy to do it. Um, I ran like four runs of 20 miles or more, um, so I'm hoping that's going to be good enough. My last one was 24 miles, um, so just about a full marathon, and I'm hoping that'll pay off. I just I have a little bit of nagging doubt that I'm just a little hair um, not quite capable of, of a big Q time, but um, I'm going to try for it, and I'm hope, hoping the weather cooperates. And, uh, you know, I feel good. I don't get sick or, you know, anything stupid like that. Um, so we'll see. But, yeah, I'm, I'll be glad just to finish it. That'll be a major accomplishment considering what I come, came back from. And if I could be Q at home, that would be really wonderful. If not, I can, you know, I still have one more try here before the cutoff. And I won't be heartbroken about it. Um, but, yeah, I, I would very much love it if I could do it. So we'll see. Um, I will report back. I'm planning to bring my camera and get some nice footage, hopefully, so it's a little more exciting than just sitting and watching me talk here in my room. Um, so uh, hopefully um, I get some people with some footage of me running, and I'll take some footage up there before, right before the race and stuff like that. So hopefully a little bit more exciting video coming next time. But um, thanks for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. And I will report back with how it went. Talk to you later.